YouTube friends. So today we were going to discuss this, but instead we are going to discuss this. I had this panel languishing in my stash and I bought it because I liked it. And I am going to link some channels below where I watched a video this morning and they were making potato chip blocks. And some of the ladies were not using potato chip blocks in the center of their blocks. They were actually using a piece of fabric that they really like. So I thought, well, I have this panel. I can do a potato chip block around my panel. So that's what we're gonna do today. So the potato chip block, for those of you who don't know, are using two and a half inch strips that are cut at four and a half inches. If you sew two strips of two and a half inches together, you will end up with four and a half inches in length of that, and then you would subcut it. So a bunch of these I'm gonna cut, they're already cut two and a half inches, so I'm just gonna go cut at four and a half inches. And the, the math here is, so when it sews into the block, it'll be two by four. So I need something that's going to have to be divisible by four inches. So in measuring this, I don't have enough to 12 and a half to get me to four inches. So my next would be eight inches, which I have that. Um, so it looks like I can make these eight and a half inches. Let me verify that. I don't want to lose any of my words. Yeah, so I'm going to have to cut these down to eight and a half inches, and then that will be my center of my potato chip block. So for those of you who have a really nice big ruler, now is the time to use it. So here I've got two inches and one and a half, so I'm going to move this in quarter of an inch so now I have one and three quarters and yeah that's still not right so let me scooch it an eighth of an inch this way all right eight and a half here and it's odd to me that that's not centered so that doesn't make that centered so we're gonna have to center this on the word okay so I think this is the layout I'm gonna go with I'm going to corner two of the corners with dark fabrics and then the remainder I'm going to put the light coordinating fabric so this panel and then sew all my blocks like this and then maybe go from there. We'll see. All right here I have part of my iron block done. The image on this in order for me to keep this above my seam allowance I ended up having to lose part of the iron. I mean, nobody likes ironing anyway, so. So you're going to pick a side and one side's going to have two bricks and the other side's going to have three bricks. And you can put your two bricks here and your three bricks here, but they have to be across from one another for this block to work. So again, back to the irony of this iron block, I could not have made that more perfect and mind you, I didn't even pay attention. I just laid that on there and sewed it. And it looks like somebody stuck a basket <laughs> over the iron. That's hilarious. So that's what your block will look like. And let me finish sewing up all these blocks and then we'll lay them out on the wall. Okay, everyone. So I have sewn the potato chips around the, each of the panel blocks and then sewed the blocks together. Was this my intended look? No, but for time's sake, I'm going to leave it as simple as possible. 
I was going to go ahead and make it to where this corner, when it butted up to that corner, would have another spin of the black. But I just have, do not have time, and this was like a squirrel moment. The border edge that says wash, dry, repeat, sort, that actually came attached to the panel. And after I cut the panel up and sewed it back together, it was half an inch off. So my panel is the same size as it was when it started before I cut it, which is kind of hilarious. Um, again, I think the iron block is just hilarious. The wash machine block, uh, I lost some of the wording. I now wish I would have just cut the wording off, but it is what it is. Uh, I, I really like how it turned out. The difficulty with using patterns is, for example, this sort is completely squared with the bottom, but that basket is not completely squared with the sort. And then I found out whenever I was aligning up the clothespins, dry is not centered uh, below the clothespins. Fold looks like it's centered, but the laundry basket, there's a weird optical illusion there. It's not centered. So that's the thing with panels. And maybe that's why I don't like necessarily working with panels. I'll get this quilted up one of these days and get it hung above my my uh, laundry area and it will it will look great and I really like how this turned out.